Hi, it's Mike, and we're going to look at CSS positioning on this uh, video. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're uh, uh, going through each of the videos in turn, because what I'm doing is uh, creating building blocks. We've looked at uh, CSS, the syntax, then colors, then the box model. Um, the last video was inline and block elements and uh, the difference between the two. Now we're going to look at positioning. And, uh, you know, it's, this is uh, pretty important stuff, and I'm going to use a couple of real-world examples uh, uh, soon. So um, the first one is static. We don't have to code anything for this because it's the default setting for any of our HTML elements. So uh, that's static. It's default. Don't worry about it. The, the next one is relative. And effectively, uh, relative is relative to the normal flow of things on our web page. So you'll remember in the last video, we spoke about block elements. So you know, there's a heading, and then a paragraph, and a paragraph, and another paragraph, and so on. Those were block elements. And funnily enough, they uh, are one above each other. OK, so effectively, when we use positioning relative, uh, it's relative to that normal flow of things. And we'll see an example in a moment when we do some coding. Um, then there's the absolute. Uh, I've never <laughs> used this one uh, on any web application or website, but uh, I can give you examples of, uh, of you know, somebody who has, in fact, a national newspaper in the UK. And in fact, I don't think they've used absolute because that's reference to the HTML. Um, part of our code because they've I think they've used fixed which is the next one in my list because it, that is reference to the window of the uh, device that the person is using and uh, to be quite honest the example that I'm going to show you is pretty annoying and then there's uh, the final one is sticky I've used sticky a couple of times and I've just added added it to uh, my sort of uh, new look website for 2020 and I'll show you uh, what sticky does, but effectively uh, you can stick things either at the top or the bottom of your website. So let's do some code and uh, let's uh, have a look at each of these positions. Okay, as usual, on the left hand side I've got my text editor. I'm using Text Wrangler and I, I hope you are too. And on the right hand side I've got my web browser and uh, I'm using Google Chrome in this instance. So on the uh, left hand side, I've got basic HTML uh, with the head, the title, a blank style. That's why I'm going to add the CSS shortly. And then the body, I've got a, a divider or division a div with an ID of wrapper. And then three divs, each one has got a class of box and then in turn, the first one's got an ID of box one, second one ID of box two, and the third one is ID box three. So if you'd like to pause the uh, video right now, and you can uh, type out that code if you're uh, following me through on code. Okay, so uh, first things first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply a background, uh, and I'm up in the, here in this sort of style area now, I'm going to apply a background to the body of the, oops, not the booty, the body. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, typing in probably is, uh, is pretty difficult. So uh, background color, and I'm gonna give it a light gray. And I, you know, when I'm sort of coding, I'm pottering around with code. I always use a hexadecimal of E5, 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 uh, and I'm going to hit uh, save and come over to the browser and refresh, and you can see that the, uh, the browser has gone grey, so the whole body um, is, um, there's the body in the text uh, in the HTML, so it covers the whole thing, so the whole thing has gone light grey. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to style this uh, wrapper, so I've got a wrapper uh, that uh, includes the three boxes. So it's an ID, so I'm going to use the hashtag and hashtag wrapper, then curly braces, uh, closey curly braces, and I'm going to give the wrapper a width. I'm going to call it 
of, say, 500 pixels in this instance. I'm going to give this a background color too, so it stands out on the uh, on the browser on the right. So background color, don't forget your American spelling, so C-O-L-O-R, and I'm going to give it a hexadecimal of three Fs, which uh, you'll remember from my color uh, video, three Fs uh, is white. And now the next thing, I haven't sort of shown you this uh, margin feature yet, I'm going to go uh, margin auto at uh, zero, uh, and then auto, okay, whoops Daisy, uh, let's get it in the right, uh, so the zero is the margin top and bottom, and the left right margin is uh, set to auto, and so what about this, I've hit save, I'm going to click refresh, and you can see on the uh, on the browser, I'll just zoom in a bit for you, is that the uh, margin zero auto has centered the um, this uh, sort of uh, wrapper uh, division that, uh, that I've just created. Okay, so let's uh, sort of create these boxes. So first I'm going to uh, manipulate with CSS this class box. Okay, class box, so it's a class, so I'm going to use the full stop. Uh, or period and type box so dot box and curly brackets close curly brackets and then I'm going to give each um, each box a width let's say 130 pixels and I'm going to give each one a height of 130 pixels as well funnily enough uh, they're both the same so we should have uh, now creating a square and I'm going to give each one a padding. Um, don't forget, padding is internal. This goes back to the box office, uh, box office, box model uh, video that uh, was about two uh, two videos ago. Can't believe I said box office. I haven't been to the movies for ages. And I'm going to provide a font size to each box. Uh, and let's go quite big. So I'm going to go th 30 uh, pixels for a font size. And I want that font centered, so I'm going to give it text hyphen align center. And don't forget the US spelling, any Brits out there, uh, it's uh, C E N T E R. And finally, I'm going to color, uh, color the text white. Okay, so uh, color and uh, hashtag FFF again. Okay. So if I hit save and hit return, uh, funnily enough, you see nothing. Uh, the white bit has gone big, basically, because now we've got three boxes in there, height of uh, 130. Each one's got a uh, padding of 20. Uh, and we can't see them because, effectively, the color is um, colors white. Okay. So uh, now we're going to color each of those boxes in. So looking at our HTML, have an ID of box one, box two, box three. So let's do box one first, and uh, so hashtag for because it's an ID. I'm going to call it box one, and then curly brackets. Close the curly brackets, and between the curly brackets, I'm going to give it the background color. And I'm just going to copy from above uh, because just in case I can't type in public. And I'm just going to give this a, a, a name red, okay? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to be lazy again. I'm going to be copying box one and pasting. I'm going to rename box one to box two, and I'm going to call the next, uh, give the next box a uh, background color of green. And I'm going to copy that one and paste and, and hashtag box three in this instance. And I'm going to give that a color blue okay so uh, so what have we done there uh, we've got a class of box and then we've got three IDs or hashtag box one two three I'm going to hit save now I'm going to come across to my browser and hit return and now we've, we can see we've got uh, sort of three uh, colored boxes so that's uh, that's pretty neat okay so we've, we've got these three boxes and you remember from the previous video on block elements and inline elements, because each box is one above the other, we can tell they are block elements. 
right each one because it's uh, the positioning uh, of static is default and we haven't written anything in our CSS we can tell that uh, these are sort of static right now so what I'm going to do um, I'm going to use the second box okay so uh, off on the left hand side I'm highlighting box 2 I'm going to give it a position I'm going to call it relative and you know I always type position on so uh, I've got position relative here and semicolon and if I save now nothing's going to happen because I need to give it a position so from the top from the top not from the bottom okay from the top I'm going to go 40 pixels and then from the left I'm going to go 40 pixels okay so where do we anticipate the green box to go okay so it's uh, it's relative position so it's relative to the flow of things the flow of natural flow of things is box one then box two then box three Okay, I'm going to hit save. I'm going to come over to the uh, browser and click refresh. And um, you can see now that box two has come down, so from the top 40 pixels, and shifted right from the left uh, 40 pixels as well. Okay. So that's uh, relative positioning. It's uh, relative to the normal flow of things. So it's fallen from the Effectively, the base of the uh, sort of uh, the bottom of uh, the red box, and now it's fallen down 40 pixels and 40 pixels uh, as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna let's get rid of those top and bottoms. Okay, and where do you think uh, we need to go uh, to cover the blue box with the green box? Right, so don't forget it's relative, so we can shift. Uh, the green box in the normal flow of things. So, okay, so let's give it a go. So the height of the green box is 130. So if we try shifting the top of the box down from the top, 130, and we'll kind of give it zero uh, for the left because effectively we want to co uh, cover the blue box. I'm saving, coming over to the browser and clicking refresh. Ah, and you can see we haven't really covered the blue box because there's that bit at the bottom. What's that all about? Well, what that all about is in our CSS, we gave the blue box some padding. Okay, don't forget the padding is at the top of uh, uh, the top and the bottom. So, um, so 20 times 2, top and bottom is 40, to the height is 170. So, if we bring this area now okay so if we go top 170 and save and return and now we can see that we've covered the blue box with the green box by using position relative to the normal flow of things and then bringing it down 170 uh, pixels uh, which covers the height and two paddings worth of, um, the, uh, uh, of the, the size of uh, the blue box Okay, so that's relative positioning. And if we want to see, uh, let's say we want the green box on the right hand side of the blue box. Well, we know now that it's 170 pixels. Okay, uh, oops, it is 1700. Uh, we know that it's 170 pixels wide. So if I uh, go left 170, I reckon that this green box is going to be on the right hand side of the blue box. So uh, did I hit save? Yes, I did. I'm going to hit refresh. And now the green box is on the uh, right-hand side of the blue box. What if we wanted the green box on the right-hand side of the red box? Oh, my word. Let's uh, give this a go. I think we go minus, or the top minus 170, and left 170 now. <laughs> That's only a guess off the top of my head. So I'm going to hit save, and then going to hit return. And me there it is okay if we want the blue box I'm sorry the green box to go back where it was well all we need to do is get rid of all the positioning the top and the left uh, and hit save and hit refresh and boom it's gone back okay so uh, so that's pretty neat now 
so in my opening slides, I mentioned static, which is the default. I mentioned relative to the normal flow of things, and I've just demonstrated that uh, with uh, quite a few little uh, shifting things around. And then uh, we, I mentioned um, position absolute. Uh, now I reiterate, I've never used absolute on any web application of mine. So, but I'm, I'm going to show you anyway. Okay, so um, I'm going to box two and I'm going to hit position in fact I spelled that correctly this time and absolute, Oops. And, uh, an absolute don't forget um, it shifts things effectively from the sort of top uh, left hand corner of it, the uh, sort of the HTML code with top top left hand corner of the of the browser if you like so absolute I'm going to give it uh, a from the top I'm going to come down 300 oops, it is 300 pixels yep. uh, pixels and I'm going to shift it towards the center from the left yeah, not to the left from the left and I'm going to go 400 pixels but let's just see where it goes okay and I've saved, I'm going to refresh, and the box has, well, shifted right over there. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so what's occurring? So from the sort of the top uh, left-hand part of the, uh, of the browser, it's shifted all the way down 300 pixels, and it's shifted from the edge of the browser uh, all the way to the left 400 pixels. Okay, so that's, uh, that's absolute. Now, I want to show you a demonstration. I um, mentioned that um, uh, sort of news website earlier on, and I'm going to show it you now. Now, this is a British uh, 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 British thing. You know, it's all and it's probably like a gossipy gossipy thing. So, um, take no offence of what's in the background, but see this video uh, on the right hand side at the bottom. This is really pesky. Every time you load a page, then this video pops up and it's really annoying and it slows down the page loading and so on. Okay, so just bear that video in mind. Notice these um, on either side of the page, you've got these uh, adverts left and right. Um, uh, so, you know. Where's that happening? And I can show you because we've already coded it. So those two adverts and this pesky video. All right. So I'm going to close that down because I don't want them on my uh, on my browser for as long as I need to. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this absolute. So boom, just got rid of that, and we've gone. Oops, it is. I've gone back to uh, normal, and I hit refresh and everything's in the right place again, okay? So, I'm going to open up the browser a little bit, and you'll note the, our white wrapper, okay? And what I want to sort of point out is left and right, you've got this big gray area, okay? Well, that's what that newspaper has used, this gray area on either side. That's what it's used for their advertisements, okay? Uh, right, okay, so anyway, so let's uh, try to emulate that horrible video thing that keeps popping up. So we don't use static, we don't use relative, we don't use absolute. The next one in my sort of list of uh, positioning things, position is fixed. Now, the difference between fixed and absolute is, um, is, uh, is subtle. Okay, and so I'm going to go from the bottom, I'm going to go 10, pi 10 pixels, and then from the right, and then give 10 pixels. Now, can you remember what I mentioned about the difference between absolute and fixed was? Well, absolute was um, sort of re uh, reference to the HTML in our, in our code, so this HTML right at the top. Uh, whereas fixed, which is what we're just about to see, okay, I'm going to hit save, is relative to the bottom of the browser that the uh, that the user is using, right? So I'm expecting it to be right at the bottom by 10 pixels and just to the right by 10 pixels, okay? And 
this is the green box. So I'm coming across, I'm going to click refresh, and there is the green box. Irrespective of whether I scroll, it's always there. And that's how that newspaper has, uh, has created that blinking video that you can't get rid of, yeah? A apart from clicking on it. It's so annoying. Um, anyway, that's fixed and uh, absolute. And there's one more that I want to show you. Okay, and for the final one uh, was position sticky. Uh, <laughs> do you know, I, I do like this one. I've used it a couple of times and I'll uh, show you live shortly. So um, it's position sticky uh, top. I'm going to stick it right at the top of the browser. You can bring it down, but it looks a bit naff. And uh, let's go left zero. Okay, so effectively what we're saying is uh, sort of fix um, or make it sticky at this position. So zero uh, px. I'm going to hit save. This is box three. Okay, and um, so I've refreshed, and you know it doesn't look. Uh, I can't do anything. It hasn't moved, but I I'll tell you what. In fact, oh, silly boy, Mike. So I'm going to. Um, cut it all out of uh, box three and put it in box two. Okay, so uh, just to show you what I did, this position sticky top left uh, is against the blue, the green box, not the blue box. Okay, so I'm going to hit save, I'm going to hit refresh, and funnily enough, nothing has changed. Now, what I'm going to do is create these boxes to be a little bit bigger. So I'm coming up to the box size. I'm going to call them 330 in size. I'll show you why now, because I can't scroll up uh, in this instance. Now I can scroll up. Okay, so we've made box two, the green one, sticky. So watch what's happened. Whoa. So the box is stuck to the top. Yeah, and see, see what's happening here? It's stuck to the top of the page. Now that's quite neat, and that's... Um, position sticky uh, ha happening. Right, okay, what I'm going to do, just to uh, finish off this, uh, we've finished coding now, but here's my website that I've recently updated for 2020. If you like it, it's littlegreyhair.com. Uh, you can find it under Learning Technologies Expert on, on Google. should be number one if I've coded it right. Okay, and uh, so I'm scrolling, but have you seen the navigation bar right at the top? It's sticky. It's sticking right at the top so that if somebody's at the bottom of my web page, they can still get to the navigation feature. So that's, uh, that's pretty neat. I'd, I'd rather like sticky for navigation. You know, I think it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Okay, so let's go back to the slides and let's see what we've learned. So hopefully you've got an understanding now of positioning. So static is the default setting, so we don't have to code anything. Relative is, uh, we saw that on a few examples, where relative positioning is uh, relative to the normal flow of things. And then absolute, it's a uh, reference to the uh, HTML tag in our code. But uh, the more useful one out of absolute and fix was reference to the uh, user's window of their device that they're using. And finally, I showed you the uh, sticky element. You can stick it on the bottom, you can stick it on the top. Your choice. Uh, it's your website, your web application. But you know, I don't often use Sticky, but sometimes I think it's really worth it. So hey, that's it for CSS positioning. Hope you enjoyed this video. And that's me. That's Mike. I'm Little Grey Hair Productions, and I'll see you in the next one.